think should be added to PTFS in hopefully under 10 minutes. I don't know. So first up, we got airliners. So we have so for Airbus, we will begin with the Airbus A310. The Airbus A310 is a beautiful wide-body aircraft. Well, I don't think wide-body is. Someone fact-check me on that in the comments below. But yes, it would be an amazing addition to the, to the game, and it's just a real good plane. You can add different liveries, including beginning with Aeroflot. Aeroflot and Air Serbia, and basically even Air Transat, which is, I think, requested. Next up, we have the Airbus A300. The A300 was Airbus's first aircraft, as you can imagine. But it is still really, really good as a plane. So, what, with the, with, with its, which, which is Airbus's fourth um, wide body aircraft. And I think it would be a great addition to the game. So next up we have Boeing. So we all know it begins with the Boeing 727 in the, in the PTFS catalog. So what we want, what I want to add what I would add, what what I suggest is the Boeing 717. Because the Boeing 717 was created when McDonnell Douglas and Boeing merged. Well, Ma Boeing merged when McDonnell Douglas, when Boeing bought McDonnell Douglas. There we go, finally. Anyway, so, yeah. The 717 is a beautiful medium airliner and the plane that closely resembles it is the McDonnell Douglas MD-80. It will be one of the only planes in the game where the engines are mounted in the back. So now we have the Boeing 707 which is Boeing's most requested plane for PTFS and now this this plane is just beautiful with its single eye of four engine layout it is one of the only four engine planes that is a single which is a narrow body aircraft the 77 the 707 what would be a perfect fit for the gap between the 1950s and 1970s it would just be perfect next up we have lockheed martin for more plane so first we have to begin with the l1011 tristar now this plane is just beautiful it's only had one fatal crash i th think and it is just a beautiful plane you can add many liveries including the delta you know the delta old livery which we already have on the 727 and the, pl and the plane is just really nice Three engine design. The closest plane that resembles it is the MD 11. Is the MD 11, which I would like to see, but is already in the game. Next, we have uh, the F 117 Nighthawk. The F 117 was used in Operation Desert Desert Operation Desert Storm, and is and is just a beautiful plane with a very unique design no plane resembles it in game but the aircraft is just beautiful but is now only a trainer which you could put in airbase gary for you know like it you, you know or you can just make an entire airport but that will be later in the video anyway next up we have the u2 spy spy plane the u2 was made is basically the the worst version of the SR-71, which is already in the game. Now, I believe that this plane should be a game pass for only about 95 Robux, because it is just a beautiful plane. And with its very unique design and ability, and like, if you just look, you have to balance it on landing. And that would be a cool addition. Next up, we have airports. Okay, Microsoft. Anyway, so next up, I think would be an amazing addition. <sighs> Phoenix Sky Harbor International. We haven't had a new airport slash island 
since Tokyo was released. I don't even know when Tokyo re was released, like over a year ago. So I think it should it would be an amazing addition. You can make an entire new island. You can even have downtown Phoenix. With its, it can also be the first airport with three runways. And also with its pretty long 11,000 feet runway, you can have role plays as well. And the ATC tower can be, the, also the ATC tower has a really unique design. If I don't know if I'm able to put it on screen, but I'll try. Or my, yeah, I'm editing this video instead of my editor because it's just more simpler. Okay, anyway, so um, next we have Denver International. Now Denver International is just a beautiful airport. It has many runways, and I think it has at least six. But it is, but with a 16,000 feet long runway, that could be the new longest runway in Power Training Flight Simulator in PTFS. So I do, I would just think it would be an amazing addition to the game and yes next we have chicago o'hare with many role play abilities including uh a specific thing with the dc-10 that i'm not going to talk about <coughs> anyway so it's also a great addition because it has a lot of runways and you may argue that okay um but it's just it's an amazing addition to the game and yeah, next up, uh, we have features. Now, there's only one I would like to see. I would like to see Autopilot. Now, Autopilot is already implemented in many other flight simulators on Roblox. And in the latest Cessna 402C, well, 402 update, uh, it brought an FOV slider, which you could just put that there while flying. And it could be disabled in GUI options. So yes, that's what I think should be added to Pilot Training Flight Simulator. Thank you guys for watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.